everybody what is up guys Ryan here at creativegrenade.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set your documents up for print within InDesign and specifically for business cards. Now this tutorial can benefit you in a lot of different ways because it will help you become more familiarized with InDesign as well as the print process. Now I quickly made up these business cards to show you what we're going to be doing in today's tutorial and as you can see here we made up these really simple business cards. Uh, now to turn off the preview window you would just hit W to turn it off and on and as you can see there, once we do that, we have, it shows all of these grids and lines and you're wondering, oh, what are all those? Um, well, before I start uh, showing you how to set this up, I'm going to explain to you what each of these things are. The red outline here of our, band, of our uh, document is called our bleed. And essentially the bleed is there. It, it extends past the document window uh, to whatever amount of size you set it to as a kind of like a safe zone for when printing and it pretty much just accounts for the movement of the printer so if there's a if you normally had uh no bleed on there and you were to go to print and say the printer alignment was off and it printed the ink sideways then you would have a problem this pretty much eliminates that altogether by making sure when it goes to print you're not going to have that issue um now if i turn turn the background off you can see that um we have our document window here and then the red line goes about an inch or a quarter of an inch outside of our document window and like i said that's just there to account for any print issues so if you're uh wanting to trim it out as well um you don't have to worry about um cutting it and then messing up and then having like a white line you're always going to have a clean color coat all throughout if you have the bleed on there um, so i do that for almost all of my prints uh, i print them out with that and then I cut them with an X-Acto knife and ruler and you're always gonna get a clean cut no matter if you mess up. So that's always a helpful way to make sure you're always gonna ensure a clean cut, you know, especially if you're, um, you know, printing on expensive paper and ink and you only have one time to print, you don't wanna have that uh, possibility of messing up. So you always wanna make sure that you always have this uh, set up. Now this purple line here is our margin. And essentially that's just there to keep everything uh, nice and organized and you can design outside of it but it's just there saying okay this is where uh, all my info text images and stuff like that is going to be contained in I don't want it to go inside or outside of it and as you can see here all of my text and whatever lines up to the margin and doesn't go outside of it and that's just a nice helpful way to keep things all nice and organized um, so now I'm going to show you guys how to set up a document like this and how you get it ready for print. So you go up here to file new document or hit command N or control N if you're on PC. And what you're going to do is you're going to have a new dialog box. Now generally the preview section is turned off and you want to make sure that's turned on so you can see what your document is doing as you can see here. Um, so uh, for when you first get it, you're going to have the, int sometimes it's set to web and that's going to automatically set it to pixels now you don't want that as that you obviously want it as print because we're going to be printing and you want it in inches instead of pixels so you always want to make sure that is on print and you also want to make sure facing pages is unchecked now generally facing pages when you go to print it's going to print front to back which most printers can't do unless you have a printer that can print uh, front and back pages um, but i generally don't print front to back because there's always the printers that I always use always mess up the alignment of it. So it's just always easier to print individual pages and then trim them out yourself. Now, generally you might have to have facing pages turned on if you're saying sending this to a print shop um, and they're like, okay, could you turn facing pages on? That's the only time you would really have to. But generally I tend to keep that off. Uh, now for the paper size, we're gonna change that to US business card, uh, which is 3.5 inches by two inches. And that's the standard uh, size for any business card. Uh, but it could really be anything you want. Uh, it's all within budget. Um, and for number of pages, we want to set that to two because obviously we want a front and back page. Um, now for the margins, which is what I was talking about before, is this purple line. And as you can see, it's set out about a half an inch and we don't want that. We want it about a quarter of an inch, like so. And that's just going to give us uh, enough room to put all of our contents inside uh, without going too close to the edge. And now down here is our bleed and our slug, which is what I was talking about earlier. Um, 
now this is how far you can this the bleed is essentially like i say it goes past your document so you want to set how much you want it to go past it so uh we could set this to let's say an inch and see how big that looks now as you can see here an inch is way too big for uh, our business cards now you can set it on an inch um but you really generally don't need to waste that much ink so we could set it at uh 0.1 and that looks good to me that just gives us enough room that we could trim without having any issues now actually i actually just clicked off that i didn't mean to so let's go back up here to uh file and then document setup and so if you like i just did there if you ever mess up or you want to come back and edit something in your document you just go up here to file and then document setup now uh for the slug you generally don't need to use slug uh, because we're not printing on old presses like they do. So essentially what the slug is, it, it was used for typesetting and typesetting, you know, originally was used with wooden blocks and lead blocks and it was stamped down and you know, that's how typefaces were made. Uh, but slug was essentially there to account for the spaces in between paragraphs. And that's all that's there for. Um, why it's in uh, InDesign, I'm not too sure because you know, it's not really I've never had to use it uh, and I've printed books before and I've never had to use it so I don't really know why it's in there but it, essentially it's just like an old time type thing uh, you really can ignore it um, so yeah uh, that's quick history there for you <laughs> and we can just hit OK now as you can see here if we zoom out we have both our front uh, and back document here um, now it's very easy to do once you have it set up now I'm not going to show you guys how I designed this because it's pretty straightforward I'm pretty much here just showing you guys how to set up your document and stuff like that now to set it up for print like this where it has all the bleed and whatnot um, I made up a PDF here real quick for you guys to show you uh, what happens when you print with bleed and stuff like that so when we go to print it's going to give you options for all marks and bleeds and stuff like that and you're gonna, when it prints out, you're gonna get a whole bunch of garbage on here. You'll be like, whoa, what's all this? Now, essentially what it is, uh, obviously these uh, circles here with the crosshairs are your registration marks. You generally don't need those, especially when you're printing business cards, um, but I just put them on there for reference to show you what they are, but generally you don't need them in this circumstance. And then these lines here on the outside are our bleed marks here on the very outside are the bleed marks so you can see where it extends past it about a, a half an inch and then these inner lines are your crop lines or your trim marks where you would trim with your ruler and exacto knife so you, as i was telling you before if you were to go trim here instead of trimming against a white line you're trimming against the black color of the background so if you mess up you're not going to have a you know some like little increment white line messing you up so that's what uh your uh, the document is going to look like when you go to print it um, and it's very helpful I use it all the time for my prints and it's something that you should get in the habit of doing because it's just a way to give you that extra step of professionalism if that's the way you want to put it um, so I'm going to show you guys how to set this up right now uh, so once you have your document set up and all your business cards are ready to go and ready to print you go up here to file and then print or you hit, can hit command P now you would obviously select your printer and then you would set up uh, how you know how many ranges like uh, if you had multiple business cards you would set up your range but we only have two here so you would select all and you if you have any blank pages you want to make sure print blank pages is checked which I actually encounter a lot which can be helpful um, but we're gonna keep that unchecked and then you're gonna go up here to setup we're gonna make sure the paper size is set to uh, let's put it on letter sheet so where is US letter and as you can see here, this is where our business cards are going to print. But if you look here, it's going to be printing in the left-hand corner of our paper. And we don't want that because it's not going to be able to let us uh, trim properly. So you would just go down here to page position and make sure it's centered. And as you can see here, now it's centered inside of our letter sheet, sheet of paper. Now, once that's done, you want to go up here to marks and bleeds. Now, this is what I was showing you guys earlier on that PDF where it has all the bleeds on it. Um, if we click on all printers marks, that's going to give us all the, pr the crop marks, the bleed, registration marks, color bars, and page information, which is exactly what I was showing you guys earlier on the PDF right here. So yeah, generally you don't have to have all that in there. 
Um, so, like, uh, you don't need to color bars. Um, page information you can keep on there. Uh, but let's see, you don't need the registration marks. So generally, uh, you can just have crop marks, bleed marks, and page information, which is essentially just going to be the document name, the time, and the date you printed it at. You can also set how thick you want the lines to be. So you can set it to quarter of an inch. You can set it to 0.50, you know, whatever, uh, half an inch and etc. But I usually keep it at 0.25. And uh, that's pretty much it for that par portion of it. Um, and you also want to make sure that use document bleed settings is checked because sometimes uh, the printer can automatically set them and you don't want that because that's going to mess up your document. But generally you don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah. And uh, let's see if anything else needs to be checked. Uh, printer, let's go to printer. Um, sometimes, like I said, if you are if you had facing pages on, you wanna make sure that's turned off. So in that case, if you do have uh, facing pages on, you wanna turn them off, you just go down here to layout and then file features. And you make sure that two edge binding or printing is turned off. And that's gonna uh, stop it from printing double sided. And now all you would have to do is hit, hit print and you would get essentially this on a letter sheet sheet of paper. Um, so yeah, now I'm also gonna show you guys before I end this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to save uh, this document like I did here into the PDF with all the printer's marks, which can be helpful if you wanna send it to a print shop or whatever. So once you're ready, like I said, to print or you're finalized and all that, you go up here to file and then you go down here to export. And once you have that, you would just go down here to format and make sure that it's on Adobe PDF print, not interactive. If you do, if you do interactive, you're not gonna get the same settings as you would here. And we're just gonna call this 01 and we're gonna hit save. And then you're gonna get this export Adobe PDF document file or uh, dialog box. Uh, for this, you want to keep it uh, for standard. You want to set it to PDFX for two, you know, whatever that is. You want to make sure it's set to that because if you have it at none, sometimes it screws up and everything. Uh, compatibility, make sure it's set on the latest one. So we'll put it to PDF uh, 8-9. And da, 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 that's all good. You can just ignore that. And then the real important stuff is our marks and bleeds. And since we already had it checked off on our printing settings, it's already checking it off in here as well. So like I said, it's just like in the printer, you check it on, check it off, and there you go. So you just hit export, and as you can see here, it opens up our PDF with our print marks. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, and if you're not already subscribed to Creative Grenade, be sure to smack that subscribe button, and uh, if you have any tutorial suggestions, be sure to leave a comment below. And anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video.